There's plenty of fish to catch out here, like this European flounder. There's also eel and xander to catch out here as well. All have their benefits like XP and money here in the Netherlands and Fishing Planet. And salutations, everyone. Jake Vegas here with Jake Vegas Digital today. We're gonna do some fishing. I'm out in the Netherlands. I can't pronounce the name of this canal properly, probably, so I'm not even gonna try. But it's the Netherlands map, and we're gonna start off fishing with our Creek Pro 7 foot 10 inch rod. It's got the 1.5 ounce quiver tip on it. I've got a six pound line lined up on the rod and reel. It's the Crucian Hunter. 3500 uh, the leader I've got set to 55 inches I'm using a half ounce sinker one out hook and we're gonna fish crawfish cut now the next rod that I'm gonna be using is the Laker Pro 12 foot 2 inch rod uh, with the Bremer 4500 reel on it got this one lined up with six pound test line as well uh, quiver tip two ounce I'm using a half ounce sinker Leader I've got set all the way as uh, far as up as it can go. Uh, max leader length, I guess you'd say. Anyway, got a one-eye hook on there and we're gonna fish shiners. Last, but certainly not least, I've got the Jig Winner eight foot 10 inch pole with the Crucian Hunter 3500 reel on it. I'm gonna be fishing a fourth ounce jig head with a six inch glow worm for nighttime fishing this is going to be good for Xander hopefully and I've got six pound or eight pound I'm not sure offhand uh, I think it's eight pound actually eight pound line on this rod and reel and we're gonna head out there guys there's plenty of fish to catch in this one spot that I'm gonna show you so let's get out there with further delay let's do some fishing all right so I'm gonna spawn in here at the charm of industrial let it load guys there's just one spot that I fish here and I catch plenty of fish. It's down here to the left. Right when we spawn in at Charm of Industrial, you'll see this bush here to the right. You'll see some more weeds off here to the left. I'm gonna come down right by these weeds right here. And if you can see out there, it might be, they're, they're real far out there. I've got some marker buoys. So we're gonna set up our rod stand here. Gonna point it towards those marker buoys I have out there. I'm gonna pull out our Lake Pro first. And basically, just casting out as far as I possibly can with the setup that I have. Gets rather deep out there, so we're going to cast it out there. And we'll just let that sinker sink to the bottom with our shiners on it. Shiners I found are pretty good for the Xander out here. I uh, catch some eels sometimes as well. We're going to take out our Creek Pro. And we're also going to do the same thing, cast out as far as we possibly can and let that sinker sink to the bottom. We'll set our rods and our rod holders, and now we wait. Looks like we got a rod beeping here. Let's reel this in. Up, oh, up, oh, something's taking it. Let's go ahead and pick this rod up. And we set the hook, uh-oh. Wow, this thing feels rather large for this setup. I've got six pound line on here now, but judging by the way things are looking, I could probably bump that up to eight. Can't believe we are still reeling this thing in. I'm anxious to see what it is. It's a rather large fish, it's gotta be. And it's not even a fish, it doesn't look like it's, what is this? It's an eel, a unique European eel can't keep them. We got to release them. Good for some XP there. They do pay good XP. I like those eel, but I want to catch some fish. Let's see what we can nab.
let's put this trophy Xander in the keep net. Alright, so I've uh, switched it up to a 6 inch worm on a 1 4th ounce jig head with a 2 odd hook. Was fishing that spoon earlier, that medium spoon. Wasn't having much luck catching anything off of it, so I'm going to try this, this 6 inch worm just to see what kind of luck we have. Going to let it sink all the way to the bottom. Going to try working it like I would uh, worms and spoons in Emerald Lake in New York. There it goes. Hit the bottom. Let's reel it in and just do a little lift and drop with it. See if we can get a hit. And look at that. Wow, right after dropping way out there, we got a fish on. This, this is awesome. I've been sitting out here with that casting spoon, not having any luck. And I switch it to the 6-inch glow worm. And boom, boss, we got a fish on the line. Feels like it might be a decent-sized fish as well. Now, in case you guys are wondering, I haven't moved spots. This is the exact same position that I started recording at. Uh, all the fish that we caught so far has been in the same spot. So, uh-oh, don't want to lose that line tension. Get that, get that line tension back up. All right, there we go, there we go. Don't want to lose this fish. Feels like it's a nice sized fish. We'll see once we get it up here. Almost got it in. Come on, what do we got? What do we got? Looks like a Xander. Definitely looks like a Xander. Let's see what we have here. We've got another trophy Xander. Unbelievable. Off of that six inch glow worm. Nice, good for $411. We'll put it in the keep net. It's getting some beeps on these rods, but nothing really seemed to take it. Uh, I've tried larger hook sizes out here on these rods, like three out and four out hooks, and didn't have much luck catching anything. It took a long time before I got any hits on it, so I bumped it back down to a one out and a two out. Wouldn't go over a two out on these uh, bottom fishing rigs out here. Let's cast this worm back out here, see if we could do what we just did. We'll go ahead and let that that uh, jig head sink to the very bottom. There's a boat out there, guys. Big old barge likes to likes to float its way down river. It would be cool if we could hit it with a lure, but I don't think that's possible. <laughs> anyway, we got our jig head almost almost at the bottom. There we go, sitting on the bottom. Now let's reel it in. Do a little lift and drop. Don't know if we'll get as lucky as we did on that last cast. It was pretty cool. Just two lift and drops uh, into it, and we got a fish on. Uh-oh, we got a rod beeping. There is a bit of an incline out there. Uh, makes it hard to do the lift and drop properly on that incline, but once we get up over it, we should be able to work our bait as intended. There we go. There we go. We got another one on. Amazing. Wow. All right. This uh, six inch worm is working a lot better for the fish out there than that medium casting spoon was. This one feels like another good sized fish as well. We'll work it up here slowly but surely. Got some rods beeping out there. Hopefully nothing takes that bait while we got this one on the line. Looks like something might be running with it, though. I can't get to it. Can't get to it now. I want to go ahead and reel this in first. This one feels like a good-sized fish. Probably another Xander, I'd imagine. Yeah, it looks like a Xander. You can tell by the way it was breaking the water there. Definitely, definitely another Xander. Let's see what we got. These things pay good out here. Boom, another trophy Xander. Unbelievable. Wow, we've cut a lot of these out here tonight. $444. We'll put it, keep it in the keep net, guys. That's basically it. That is how you fish this uh, canal here in the Netherlands. One spot, plenty of fish. Unbelievable. We've earned some good XP and we've earned some good cash out here doing this fishing. Guys, I think I'm going to close the video here. Y'all know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. If you'd like to stay up to date on future content, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world and we will see you next time.